All right, round number two for this week. I happened to pick up another $10 first act guitar from Shop Goodwill. This is going to be everybody's favorite place. It's ME 1980. I love the 2x4 tuners on the headstock because the thing I like about them are they are straight in line with the nut, the slots in the nut, so your strings go straight up. There's no no bend angle to them when you're tuning. So I think that, in my opinion, helps them stay in tune a little bit better. I could be wrong, but I just like it. And again, this one came without a high E string. What's the deal with high E strings? Nobody can keep a high E string on a guitar. It's not very well taken care of. It's got its flaws, but the biggest one's right here on the back. Somebody really took a put a put a dent in that one. Nice hickey, but I think I'm gonna take the finish off this completely, maybe look and see what the wood looks like underneath it and go all natural. Um, ended up paying a little bit more for shipping on this one than I'd like to. $29 shipping, $10 on the guitar all total. I'm in it for like $43 bucks, somewhere in there with taxes. But uh, I'm going to post the sound quality on this one because I think it actually plays pretty good. The action's good. There's no fret buzz. All the frets seem to be pretty evenly. Uh, even across the board, I've gone from the top to the bottom and nothing seems out of whack with it. Straight neck, good, smooth, easy action on it. <laughs> got the volume so I'm gonna probably put a tone knob on it because it just to make it a little bit more versatile with uh, different songs that I play at church kind of sometimes I need a, a lot less treble on it <laughs> That's it. The ME 1980, the little flame job on the pick guard. I love the body style on this one with the double cut, so we'll see where I can go with this. I'll probably put a DiMaggio pickup in it or Seymour Duncan. I got a whole bunch of pickup options to put in it. Who knows? Might just turn it into Frankenstein, see what else I can come up with. But I'm loving this one too. Just for, for $10 guitar, I wish I didn't have to pay so much on shipping. Y'all have a good day.